Okay, next up is Watcher. Same rules, trying to get the you are nothing achievement. Anything else is failure. Um, okay, so apparently we didn't reach the Act 1 boss last time. That does mean we can snipe this guy if we want. There's like a 60% chance because we only got to go through two question marks. Um, yeah, the Tempest was was uh, made a lot of sense. <laughs> no, man, I kind of like the the like squid uh, cultist. It's pretty pretty cool. Um, we could also snipe this one if we prefer that path. Same uh, one more question mark. So it's only 50-50. Uh, that's a three elite path. Seems reasonable. Uh, the problem with Nails Lament on Watcher is like Watcher is just so good. That, like maybe we don't need it. Um, but I, I do really like picking Nails Lament on um, on characters that are going for the U or nothing because like we need to um, we need to pick cards that participate in infinite combos. Um, so like if we're offered a floor one rushdown and we don't pick uh, the uh, and we don't like the uh, pick the Niaz Lament, then we're going to be like, can we really pick Rushdown? Uh, we're going to lose health if we pick Rushdown, but we need to pick Rushdown to, like, win. Um, so, I think we pick Lament. Yes, a, like, squid on my toast. Is that a crime? Chat. Being persecuted for my beliefs here, Coconut. Um, I guess we can also snipe this guy. I didn't really consider that. Oh, wait, that's not true. There's three fights. All right, let's do this one, um, because if it fails, I don't want to be skipping a Mega Elite. And I also don't really want to go to the early shop. Um, okay, I guess we don't have Lethal. Uh, Coconut 100% talks back. She's very vocal. Also, she's having a little... little Whisker twitching cat dream right now. It's pretty cute. We're gonna check it out. Um, now she stopped. Come on, coconut. No, the whisker twitches have ceased. Oh, there's one. Kind of a slow one though. All right. I mean, she's extremely vocal, so <laughs> she, you got no problem hearing her in general. Let's see. How do I get this camera back where it's supposed to be? I should have like a little tape mark. Where it's like, put the camera here. Uh, Cut Through Fate's a great card. Uh, is it good for OTKing? Yeah, it's okay. It's not terrible. Helps us find our, our like, uh, uh, let's see. So, so probably we want like, Rushdown, Tantrum, and Fear No Evil, right? Like that's like the easiest way to do it. Um. I don't know the context where coconut falls on my head. She doesn't really she doesn't really go for, for trees. Oh, she's doing the twitchy cat dream thing again. Darn it, coconut. Who is the act one boss? That's a good good point. This is slime. Bowling bash is definitely a great card. I think we're gonna go with cut through fate then. After insufficient analysis. Uh, Carter moves are really good for infinites. Let's do one. Um, I have been doing the Shining Light. I don't know if I'm going to do it here. It seems dangerous here. Dangerous and unnecessary. We're going to fight three elites. Um, I think we care about keeping our health up. Upgrading eruptions is pretty good if we're trying to do rushdown infinites, which is, I think, sort of the presumptive infinite for Watcher. Are there other infinites that we could do? There, I'm sure there's, like... We could do like a, a sundial or something. Um, it is true that Watcher is super OP. Um, but the problem with, with taking Shining Light here is like, what if we get Scrap Ooze here? Right? We don't want to be trading all of our health away because we, we kind of want to be able to Scrap Ooze. Um, is it just specifically Scrap Ooze? I think Scrap Ooze and Shining Light are the only like, major health loss events. You can lose health to um, Golden Idol as well. But you're probably going to want to lose max HP. 
It's true, you definitely can OTK um, uh, Slime Boss. It's probably going to need to be a Blast Mave. Um, turn one. We'll pull that off. We definitely, we definitely want Blast Mave if we can find it. Alright, let's do it. What achievements are we chasing? We did get the Eruption. Wow, that's probably the best case scenario. I don't think I could pick two better ones. Yeah, that's literally what I would have chosen. It's my best Shining Light ever. I don't think I've ever had a Shining Light do exactly what I want. That's probably not true. But that was a good one. That's true. Ambrosia Bot could also work. I don't know if it's necessarily better, but... Yeah, we have to kill a boss turn one. That's the that's the challenge here. Uh, can we ever do enough pressure points to kill a boss on turn one? I think the answer is probably no. We do have a cut through fate, so pressure points has got a little little boost to there. <laughs> I just, I mean, it would be cool if we did it, but I don't know how to do it. Um, it's true, Ambrosia is is better than Blast May. That's that's fair. Uh, I think we take a second cut through fate. I mean, the first cut through fate was good. The second one's good too, right? Maybe we get a weave. It's not really necessarily good for uh, infinites, but. All right. Keep giving me those card removes, slow as fire. So we do get the snipe, so let's get that. Hi yeah. Gambling chip. That's great for setting up infinites. Um. All right. Setting up OTKs. Uh, Ragnarok seems like the OTK card. Um. I mean, if we get like a Ambrosia Pot or a Blasphemy, maybe some Strength, Ragnarok could, could probably do it. Let's see. So how much? If we get the Ragnarok upgraded, it's 18 times 6 if we're in Divinity. Um, what's 18 times 6? Um, it is 108, so we're like way off. Um, indignation is stance changing, and I think probably the if we're going to go for Infinite, then it's like rush down the Indignation. Uh, it's it's true, the thing you're saying, Red Beardy. Judgment is quite good in Act 1, and we are in Act 1. Um, so I don't hate it. I just, if I'm going to be offered a rare card, I feel like I should be taking a card that participates in the OTK. And it feels like Ragnarok does that and Judgment doesn't. Um, so, like, if we get, like, like mutagenic strength or, like, um, uh, like, Gira or Vajra or something... Um, then I think Ragnarok is is, uh, is pretty pretty capable of getting a OTK in like an Act Two or Act Three context. Um, but it doesn't it doesn't seem like even with a Blasphemy or Ambrosia pot we're going to get it with it with a Ragnarok. He says well he has a Strength pot in his bar right. If if we find like a Flex pot um, and a Blasphemy, um, seems like we could get there. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, new plan. Uh, cut through fates are great. Um, I think two cut through fates is enough to make um, make a sundial combo go, right? So we literally just have to deco get rid of like two cards and then we're there. No, we need to get rid of more cards than that. We can hold ten cards, but we only draw five. Um, yeah, this is this is definitely new plan territory. I'm not sure what the what exactly the new plan is. But definitely getting rid of those strikes was good. We should have skipped the Ragnarok, for sure. That doesn't help. Um, but we didn't know that. Gambling chip also is pretty huge. Um, okay. I think waking him up with Vigilance is pretty good. So, or waking him up with, like, Eruption Ragnarok. That's pretty likely to happen next turn if I don't trade any cards. So I think we're not going to trade any cards. Is two cuts not enough to do sundial things? Um, but like, if if you have uh, if you have whatever nine cards in hand and um, and it, we've gotten rid of three cards, then isn't cut through fate two cut through fates infinite? Um, no, there's a bug with with uh, sundial where if you 
I guess one of the cards has to shuffle it, uh, has to draw two cards, I think. Um, but there's a bug where if you, if, yeah, if you get one card that draws two cards, uh, yeah, I, I guess that's true. Cut, it feels like cut draws multiple cards, but in fact it does not. Okay. Uh, Chad is nothing means that we're going for the all for nothing, all, f all, uh, you are nothing achievement, and that chat is not doing it. Um, I guess it's happening next turn. <laughs> okay, sure. That was unlikely. Guess we'll just exit too. <laughs> I don't. I don't have the. Uh, the tenacity to not read chat. Reading chat is my lifeblood. Uh, it's you or nothing. But we're probably going to do a really small deck for you or nothing because we have Sundial. Um, looks like we're going to do Eruption Ragnarok again next turn. Looks like we're just defending here. Because that'll be lethal. Ooh, we missed it. Uh, wait, do we miss it? No, we don't, because Cut Through Fate draws it, and that's still enough. Okay. Wizard Tail's nice to have. Um, I don't think we can afford to pick any of these. We need to be, we need to get rid of three cards, and, um, get, find something that draws two. What's our plan for drawing two? Because uh, we don't have, like, cool-headed. A wheel kick is too expensive. Um, I guess rush down. Um, rush down sundial is, like, super-duper infinite. But we'd have to find a way of exiting wrath, so cut through fate can't be part of it. Um, hmm. All right, I don't think we're picking any of these. Uh, we do have to be a little bit careful here. We're at 17. This one has a choice, and this one doesn't, so we'll pick that one. It's a big one. Keys are useless. Um, seems like going to a shop has the really good chance of finding us rush down, so let's go to the shop. That's not rush down. That's tantrum, though. Tantrum and fear no evil in the shop. Um, so we'd just be short a rush down, basically. Madness is here, too. If we madness a, um, a cut through fate, that gets it. Because then we're spending sort of um, one half of an energy per shuffle. can't afford madness and tantrum we can't afford madness and fear no evil but that seems bad wait maybe t is tantrum rushdown actually um it's actually work because like the tantrum will, will put itself into the draw pile so it only net draws one card but i guess it it costs neutral energy right so we get free energy from from sundial it seems like we should probably pick tantrum fear no evil is what I'm saying. All right, so let's do that, and then let's pick the block bot so we don't randomly die. Um, Vigilance, Tantrum, Rest Down, Sundial should work, yes. Because it costs... Um, let's see. Uh, actually, maybe not. So it costs one energy per Vigilance Tantrum, and it net draws zero cards. Yeah, so it doesn't work. It's one energy per shuffle. That's weird. Why is that the case? Yeah, I guess it's just too expensive, right? If we... 
So do, does every tantrum cause a shuffle? It does, right? With rush down. So we play the vigilance, then play the tantrum. Tantrum puts itself in the draw pile, draws itself, and then draws vigilance. So yeah, we, we pay one net energy per shuffle, and that's too much for Sundial. Um, I think we're dodging fights. We have everything we need, um, other than the rush down. Um, and I just don't want to die at 17. We're just going to, like, rest here. Uh, what are we hoping for out of the question marks, I guess? To, like, heal, I think. Well, we shouldn't have spent money then, but whatever. Alright, this seems like a fine start. I'm playing both defense. No rush down there. Uh, that's true. Oh, good point. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have picked the tantrum. Shoot. Man, I've made some bad choices here. Uh, Empty Mind does seem like a good combo card. Yeah, Empty Mind draws two. Can we... Let's see. Is, is Empty Mind um, Fear No Evil infinite? Empty Mind Fear No Evil cut through fate? No, because that costs three, right? But it only costs net one. Yeah, that's infinite with Sundial. Uh, wait a minute. No, because it... It's a three-card combo. I think we have to get Empty Mind plus? Yeah, Empty Mind plus to draw itself and the other two. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do we need Empty Mind? No, we don't need Empty Mind plus. Because Empty Mind plus will draw the Fear No Evil and the Cut Through Fate. And then the Cut, cut Through Fate draws the Empty Mind. So that's infinite. Okay. Uh, we need the health. Parasite's bad. I mean, empty empty mind can't redraw itself. Yeah, that was wrong. But the cut the cut can. Yeah, I said the wrong thing out loud. You were correct. I don't want to just die to mushrooms, um, but I also don't want the parasite. We have a block bot. I think we just fight him. We also get a card reward from this. Could be a, uh, could be rush down. Uh, doesn't seem like we're playing that this turn. I guess Fear No Evil is a cheaper way of getting into Calm, but we need to block for numbers. I'll try to take zero damage. I want to use Empty Mind to get out of the stance, but I want to play Tantrum twice. I guess that's not possible, because we need Empty Mind to draw a Tantrum. So Strength Pot, Eruption, Tantrum does how much damage? Five, ten times, so it does 30 damage. So we could use it to kill either one. Okay. Maybe we should use... No, I can't use Empty Mind first. Um, I don't know what it is. 15. Uh, Ragnarok does 35 AoE. Not guaranteed to kill. But we can kill him with a Fear No Evil. Cut through Fate and we have 5 energy, so... Whatever. Uh, I don't think these are good enough. Tranquility is a stance changer, but we need to stop adding cards to the deck. And we don't need these. Um, 
extra fight could get us a rush down, um, which could theoretically get us an infinite on turn one against um, slime boss. Um, best case scenario for the question mark is uh, cleric. We could heal. Did, wait, did we already see cleric? No, I think we removed a card at Wing Statue, not Cleric. I'm trying to dodge fights at 17. Surprise shop, no tantrum. Or no uh, rush down. Talk to the hand's normally quite good. Fear no evils, some redundancy on that. Um, can't afford a card remove. Um. I think we're skipping the whole shop. <laughs> we're skipping a talk to the hand on sale in a shop. Is that really what's happening? It exhausts, so like, if we have enough energy, it'll get out of the way. Um, it's hard to imagine skipping a talk to the hand on sale. Diff popped. I don't know what you mean. Maybe we buy a bottled miracle here. If we bottled miracle, do we ever get him on turn one? Like we have a combo, right? We have a fear no evil. Oh wait, no, we can't fear no evil empty mind against slime boss. That can't happen. Not on turn one, at least. Well, if we have to survive act two, we should probably take the talk to the hand. Okay. We're looking for that uh, talk to the hand here. Try to block. Um, if it is on top, we will end up skipping it. Oh, I guess we can just mirror it out. Okay, we'll just draw it next turn. Card is strong. Is this enough? It's only fifteen. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need any of these. Fire pot versus lock pot. I don't think we're gonna. Block slime boss on turn one. Fire pot can be pretty good for getting a good split. Block pot could save us in the second phase, though. Yeah, I think I'll just try and get a really good split. All right, I think we're resting here. A little bit afraid of dying. Uh, there's no crazy upgrades. If we do want to get an OTK, we upgrade Ragnarok, right? Is the OTK possible? If this attack bot has another Ragnarok in it? Um, do we get there? Um, so we end up doing two Ragnaroks for 10 times 5, so that's 50 damage. 100 damage if we're in Wrath. Uh, no, we don't, can't get there. Okay, so we'll just rest. Um, we don't need these type of things. I guess we just miracle out Ragnarok, do 50. Yeah, we, I guess we're only off by like 20 here. <laughs> we could, um, if this is another Ragnarok. Still off. Uh, Stock of the Hand does 18. 18 damage would put him too low. So we're not going to do that. 
Um, we're setting it up to die next turn. Uh, this also does 18. Wait, what does 18 put him at? 18 puts him at um, 73. Yeah, it's too low. So we'll just do 10, put him at 81. And go to calm, so we get extra energy next turn. We probably don't need extra energy next turn. Okay. Stay in wrath then, get the extra damage. I guess for your new evil is more damage than strike. I said I was going to use Firepot for a split. Do we save it for Act 2? Looks like we can probably afford to save it for Act 2. Uh, nope. I guess we use it to split Acid Slime then. Hey, the 2K1C. Welcome to chat. Um, fine. I'll just stay in Wrath Mode so the Ragnarok is lethal. Okay. It was perfect slime boss fight. It wasn't turn one, but it's perfect. Uh, Deus Ex Machina seems pretty useful for setting up a Empty Mind Fear No Evil Infinite. Um, is it though? It's another card we have to draw through. Spirit Shield's bad, Alpha's bad. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we just want like card removes and a rush down. I think we're done adding stuff. Including Deus Ex Machina. Okay. Uh, it seems tremendously useful. Violet Lotus means we have like a lot more room um, to do shenanigans. Violet Lotus means that like Vigilance Eruption with rush down is an infinite. Or Vigilance Tantrum. Um, which is nice. Um, so Zoom Coffee Dripper help us get set up. Is there any type of deck situation in which Alpha is the optimal pick? Absolutely. Yeah, there's tons of tons of situations. Alpha is actually really good. It's just sorry. The only reason I said it was bad is because we're trying to we're trying to kill people on turn one. Um, Alpha is particularly good if you have if you're doing like Deva form or like Omega stuff. Or, sorry, it's not called Omega. Um, Omniscience. Omniscience is a card that's really good with Alpha. So if you get two copies of Omniscience, you have the omnis first Omniscience, play the other Omniscience twice, and then you play both the Alpha and the Beta, um, which is pretty good. And then you draw the Omega and kill everybody. Um, I guess if you have three copies of Om Omniscience, you could just play double Omega on turn one, which is insane. I've never had that. Uh, yeah, I think it's Violet Lotus by a mile, right? Let's do that. Um, um, you can, can't you? Yeah, you, you can do Alpha Beta. I've never done Alpha Beta Omega. Um, Um, okay. Hyperbeam guy seems seems like a possibility for killing him on turn one. Um, uh, I think, yeah, maybe you're right, right, Beardy. I don't know, I, I've... I guess the... Okay, yeah, you're right. The, the reason why Om Omniscience is good with Alpha is not so that you can play... So that you can Omniscience the Alpha from your deck. It's so that you can play the Alpha and then Omniscience the Beta from your deck. That's right. Good point. I knew those cards were good together, but you're right. I, I got the rock combo. Thanks for the follow, Goat Cheese 747. Um, welcome to the vegetable patch. Um, okay. 
Uh, we don't really want question marks. We don't want bites or apparitions because that's just junk in the deck. It stops us from being infinite. And um, we don't want... Uh, I guess Ancient Writing is still good because it's a card remove. Um, we definitely don't want the Forgotten Altar event because we don't have... Um, uh, Golden Idol. Red Beauty is frequently correct. <laughs> um, uh, you can quote me on that. Um, I like this little Fire Elite Fire thing. That's sort of like a normal pathing thing. Thanks for the exercise redemption FPL panic. Uh, I usually do those during card rewards, so I'll get to that in a second. Let me write it down. I have some uh, some leftover from yesterday's stream, as I frequently do. <laughs> here, I'll just... Um, here, I think that I have to type that for it to add it. Nope, it says no quotes added. I don't know what that means. Okay, fuck, sure. Um, and thanks for the follow, the 21K, or 2K1C. Appreciate it. Welcome to the vegetable patch. Um, so we don't really want question marks, but we don't want too many fights, because then we'd die. So, a, there's just like a lot of fires here. Fires are good. Let's go to the fires. All right, these look bad. Um, I think we just want to be... Can we be doing the, like, Fear No Evil Empty Mind thing yet? Seems like we're close. But if we, like, if we discard all these cards, then, like, they're in the discard pile, and when we shuffle, we draw them. Um. We can Eruption Empty Mind. Um, cut through fate. Have people figured out the, the quote, quote ad thing? Is that something I have to copy paste or is that just not work? Aha, Akiran's here. Akiran knows how to add quotes. How's it going, Akiran? Um, how do you evaluate shops? I feel like I skip them, I'll skip on them too often, but I don't want to sacrifice a fire or a fire elite just to visit a shop. Yeah, skipping shops is usually correct. You don't really want to go to a shop if you have less than 180 gold. Um, usually shops, uh, usually one of the most important things you can get at a shop is uh, the shop relic, and 180 gold is the maximum price for one of those. So 180 is kind of like the bare minimum. Um, <laughs> do we have two quote bots? Excellent. Um, so 180 is like the bare minimum, but usually to have like a, an efficient shop, you want to have like 250 gold plus, because um, otherwise you're kind of wasting a floor um, by going to the shop. Um, excellent. Um, and if you have like 400 or 500 gold, you pretty you need to like aggressively go to shops and spend that money because that's a big resource that you're kind of wasting by holding on to it. Um, do we need to draw like talk to the hand? Like how do we block this turn? Let's see what we could get with talk to the hand or cut through fate. Um, we can't af we can afford vigilance empty mind, so I guess we'll do that. All right. Uh, I guess just defend strike because I don't want to be in wrath mode. Yeah, muggers are rough. I agree. We have a lot of energy now because we procced Sundial. Striker defend. 
Um, I think I like strike. We need to we didn't get through him. Uh, Tantrum Ragnarok seems good. This does nine damage and sets up sets him up to die from one proc of Ragnarok. Okay. Nope. These aren't it. Collect. Why couldn't you be rushed down? Indignation. Why can't you be rushed down? Uh, we don't have any artifacts in the deck. If we just mulligan all the cards, um, and we have a smaller draw pile to shuffle dazes into, which has a, a small but noticeable impact. Um... I think we want to get, like, Talk to the Hand, Miracle, Ragnarok this turn. This would be my ideal turn, so let's look for that. Um, can I play Eruption, Ragnarok? Sure, we get an Empty Mind coming up, probably. Definitely want to spend the Miracle this turn, because in future turns it gets a daze. We did not draw the Thingamajig, but it turn turns out we don't need it, so... Well, she killed us last time. We got revenge. Second tantrum seems bad. We don't need that. Why aren't you a rush down? Where's my rush down? Um, I guess it's better than a strike. No daisies from you, thank you very much. Sitting for 11. We can't apply Talk to the Hand because he's got artifact charges. We can't kill him because he has more than, whatever, 68 health. So I guess we have, like Vigilance Defend. Seems kind of weak. Especially considering we're going to get frailed next turn. Thanks for the follow, Microsoft Pain. Welcome to the Vegetable Patch. Microsoft Pain. Hmm. Ooh, does that mean that a boss relic is valued at one mugger's worth of power? Uh, empty mind, file lotus, things with the cuts. Um, not sure I'm 100% following. I was planning on using empty mind to exit the wrath. We don't, we've got 10 cards in the discard. I don't think we're going to be combling... Too much sundial stuff here. Um, so what is the bug with, with sundial exactly? I know if you draw two cards and there's one card in your draw pile, it counts as two shuffles for sundial. But like, why? If I draw two cards now, does it still count as two shuffles? Because I'm drawing two cards from an empty pile? Or like, what what is the bug? How does it work? Um, I guess let's do science. Let's see if this gets two procs. Yeah, it's only one proc. The game doesn't check for another card in the discard pile when you're still supposed to draw another card. It just empty shuffles the discard into the draw. Oh, I see. So if you... Okay, that makes sense. So you draw the last card, and then it's like, well, there's no cards in the drop house, so I guess I'll just shuffle this empty discard, try to draw a card from it, and fail. So if you drew three cards, and there was one card, it would count as three shuffles. Um, interesting. Um, we can't exit anymore, but we have five energy and a cut through fate. And two outs that exit with another cut through fate kind of counts. 
Huh. Maybe maybe it gives up after you fail the draw card. It's like, I guess we I guess we're out of cards. I don't want to take 44 and die. I guess worst case scenario we use the attack bot this turn and win. Um, so eruption tantrum does 9, 27 plus 14. Doesn't seem like we're doing 90 this turn. I think we just want Cut Through Fate to draw us like Vigilance or something. So I don't want Tantrum in the draw pile. I'll take a defend. Do we really want to block for 9? Take uh, 13 though? This turn's gross. Also might be to prevent some kind of infinite shuffle soft lock. I don't see how that would work. But maybe. Uh, man, we're just just idling here while Spirit Guardian beats us up. Um Surely this turn we kill him. Yeah, okay. Guess I should use the attack bot. Um Right, exactly, yeah, because it's, it's impossible. Like, if you could draw infinite cards, then then you could do infinite shuffles, but, like, drawing infinite cards is already something you can't do, so. Uh, is Power Pot better than either of these? I think it's not. I think we don't do anything here. Oof. Gosh, what do we do? Um, don't need that, don't need that. We're gonna need something bigger than that. This isn't useful unless we're killing him this turn. What are you wrong about, Red Beauty? Um, so we can Fear No Evil Tantrum to get energy. Um, I want Talk to the Hand Tantrum and Fear No Evil all to hit Shelled Parasite, if we can. I don't think we're dying here. I think we're using the Attack Pot. I guess let's see what's in there. Brilliance is probably the pick. So, I think... Talk to the Hand Brilliance Tantrum. To get a bunch of block. Um, actually, Fear No Evil Tantrum. We want the energy from Calm Entering more than we want the damage. We take seven here. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, well. 
So Tantrum, Fear No Evil, Empty Mind, we didn't have enough energy for that without spending a miracle. Chance of ending wrath with being dead. Um. Oh yeah, that's fair. So cut through fate can get us this cut through fate, or it can shuffle, or it can get tantrum back if that's what we want. Can we do nine attacks this turn? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Doesn't seem possible. Um, so I guess we just like tantrum and then exit into vigilance. And cut through fate so that does plated armor damage. with Tantrum next turn. Seems fine. Alright. Plenty of stance changing this turn, but no card draw. Uh, we can't do six attacks again. So we might have to kill Foggy Beast. We can kill Fungi Beast with just Brilliance if we're in Wrath Mode. How do we get into Wrath Mode? I guess we just only hit Shell Parasite once in the armor, so we Tantrum Brilliance, Fear No Evil. So this generates 6 block, 8 block, 14. So we would take uh, 4, go to 2. Yeah, Simmering Fury is really good. Um, trying to stun was not my end game, but um, but trying to kill him was. Um, Alright. Man, pray and collect. You are not rushed down. Why? Oh my god. Every question mark is a fight! Um, Tantrum's pretty bad in this fight. Uh, do we even want to cut through fate? We just want to find, like, Eruption Ragnarok, basically. All right. Yeah, we definitely have lots of infinites, um, but we need to get the deck thinner to actually do them. We need to get the deck down to like 10 cards somehow. Yeah, so we don't really need the rush down. That's fair, um, if that's your comment. Um, we just died. Son of a bitch. Um, I needed to, like, bottled Miracle Empty Mind last turn, I guess. I don't know why I didn't even consider doing that. There was no stance exit in the drop pile. Oh, right, Lizard Tail. Um, yikes. Man, I'm getting frustrated. This is a. Uh, I'm not playing well. Um, I'm also hungry. Uh, okay, so we got Crush Droids, Protect, and Fasting. I think we don't want any of these. We were like, we really need to reduce the deck size. Um, yeah, Fasting, because we're hungry. Um, 
But we made it to the fire, so presumably we're resting here. I don't think we want any of these. Okay. Let's rest, go fight an elite, and get... I don't know. Rush down? He's attacking on turn one, and he summoned two fat gremlins, which is probably the worst case scenario. I think we need to kill both fat gremlins and, like, presumably an exit wrath, because we're going to enter wrath to do this. Yeah, fasting's a great card. We just don't need it in this deck. Maybe we toss the miracle in, too. When do you play fasting? Uh, primarily, if you're taking fasting, you're looking for um, some way to mitigate the energy loss. So that could be uh, Daviform, Clockwork Souvenir, or Orange Pellets are sort of the main ones. Um, Artifact Potion can also do it, but that's it's an expendable resource. Um, I guess we keep the Cut Through Fate. Maybe we keep both, because double seven is 14. I don't think we have the energy to play both. Um, okay, so we want to enter Wrath, cut through Fate to kill a Gremlin, strike to kill the other Gremlin, MP Mine to exit, and then he hits us for 18, 12, 12 takes 6. Um, seems okay. I guess we're going to talk to the hand. Uh, Fear No Evil is actually really good. So let's do that instead. Um, I guess I'll draw Ragnarok this turn. I don't really want to draw the Tantrum again. Oh yeah? How are we supposed to play it, Shoveler? disagree. <laughs> I don't think that's correct. Um, we can, like, Ragnarok and hope that it kills both. Or we can, like, kill both with Tantrum and Fear No Evil. Uh, we didn't have any strikes, attacks that weren't strike. We all had Warmth Cut Through Fate. We drew the Fear No Evil. Um, I think I like the guaranteed um, kills rather than the Ragnarok kills, even though the Ragnarok does more damage. this showing i thought he's isn't he him dying ends the fight why does this show up that's confusing usually when the when the fight ends with a cut through fate you don't see the dialogue okay that's it's uh it's not really um so because of the the delay uh this the kind of um extensive backtracking and talking about a specific um, hand is not very not a very effective way to communicate with the shoveler, so it's it's not really gonna work. Um, we don't want any of those. I think we're just resting again. Okay. You're saying we had nine extra damage on leader? Seems possible. All right, we've got a Vajra that helps our uh, eruption and Ragnarok quite a bit. Um, we have enough money to remove a card at the shop, so we probably want to do that. Uh, smithing Ragnarok or Talk to the Hand both seem good. Being at 36 for an elite fight with no potions 
seems tough. We might buy a potions at the shop, though. In fact, I think we probably plan on buying potions at the shop. But I'll just rest anyway. We'll probably upgrade at the last um, fire then. Yeah, talk to the hand's a pretty good upgrade. I guess if we upgrade talk to the hand, then maybe we need less health. Maybe we get two upgrades. Probably not, but it's possible. We might end up at higher health. Okay. Got a rush down? Nope. Cool. Just take a waffle. Makes that uh, smith seem quite a bit better. Um, waffle liquid memories. Um, could take a dream catcher to try and find ourselves the um, rushdown. Do waffle carter move too. Looks like we're still trying to set up for an Act 3. I don't think we're getting there for Act 2. We still have 16 cards. We didn't get enough card removes. So I'll just go Waffle Card Remove. So much healing! Alright, what do we want to do against Book of Stabbing? Uh, it seems like Talk to the Hand, Tantrum, Fear to Evil. It's kind of what we want to see. These draw cards. Yeah, it's probably going to be good. I'll, I'll, I'll lose the Cut Through Fate. Just draw the card now. Alright, Fear to Evil, I'm too bad. It does some stuff. There's the Talk to the Hand. And we'll mostly block out this turn. Take one. Right. Um, probably Tantrum Ragnarok, Empty Mind. Seems great. I'll go ahead and Eruption before Empty Mind. I think we're blocked out. Turn. Did the boot trigger? Oh yeah, boot Tantrum is, is something that happens sometimes. Uh, miracle for five health? I think so. Thanks, Tantrum. 99% chance we're getting lethal here. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow is pretty useless. Um, nope, none of these help. Turn one, talk to the hand. Be happy playing these. I'll go ahead and coin out a eruption too. Can you explain the 99% chance math? Um, I just, uh, I didn't actually calculate it. I was just assuming it seemed like we had a lot of damage. Hey, Distilled Chaos. Maybe we can get the infinite second Empty Mind. Um, maybe this deck needs like a... What is that card called? Purity? The neutral card that exhausts things? Because it doesn't seem like we're going to get down to um, like a, a nine card deck anytime soon. Um, actually, can we combo with Wheel Kick? Because we have... Um, it's called Violet Lotus. So we could like wheel kick Fear No Evil Eruption as a combo. Uh, no. <laughs> wheel kick Fear No Evil Empty Mind is a combo, but like, why? Wait, why is. Why does a second Empty Mind help if we have few enough cards? If we have few enough cards, we already have an Empty Mind and that's already a combo. 
think we'll skip this one. I don't think it's helpful enough. We do get stuck in Wrath sometimes, but we need to be reducing our number of cards so we can't take more. Uh, I'm gonna go take a quick break. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, to chain empty mines and exit calm. I guess we can chain, chain empty mines in the presence of uh, Sundial, but we have plenty of stuff that does that. Um, just like empty mine cut through fate is already infinite with few enough cards and Sundial. Although two empty mines is actually energy positive with just Sundial, um, which is kind of fun. Um, Wheel King is a really nice card. Can we afford to take it? No, we need to we need to reduce our number of cards really dramatically. So we skip. Wave of the hand is really good too, but no. All right. Uh, neat. So I can take an upgrade here, mostly at full health. Uh, Empty Mind needs an upgrade, Cut Through Fate, um, Tantrum and Ragnarok both get an extra proc. Do we ever get Lethal here with uh, Distilled Chaos? If we can get Distilled Chaos to play like Ragnarok, no, I don't think we can ever get Lethal. Um, might as well upgrade Ragnarok though. Um, just get the extra damage. Actually, let's upgrade Tantrum. Tantrum has a higher um, uh, per shuffle played rate. I was going to say drawn played rate, but Tantrum has a special mechanic that causes you to draw it more frequently, so the drawn played rate is not exactly what I mean. The shuffle played rate is what I mean. Okay. Uh, none of these cards are particularly useful, so we're going to get rid of all of them. Um, Eruption, Ragnarok, um, Distilled Chaos hitting, Tantrum, no, I don't think we get there. I guess we could get Fear No Evil and Tantrum. Oh, Fear No Evil actually doesn't enter Calm. We could get Vigilance and then Tantrum, and then Cut Through Fate draws the Ragnarok back. So that would give us plus three energy. Yeah. Getting Ragnarok twice in a turn. Uh, we do not have a way to remove Artifact, unfortunately. So our, our Talk to the Hand can't land on Automaton. We did not spend Rag yet. But wait, Ragnarok is a sustainable resource. Are you saying you wouldn't spend the Distilled Chaos? Um, 
I guess we could do that. What's the What's the point of forcing a current chaos bot? We just like do some stuff. I'm pretty fine with this this turn next turn. Um, because he is attacking next turn, so fear no evil's alive. Interesting. I don't know how we get a kill shot, but maybe. Um, I see. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense to do cut through fate first if you're trying to get an OTK. Uh, but I, I was assuming OTK was kind of off the table here. I don't see how we do 320 damage. Um, okay. Um, I kind of want to play Distilled Chaos now to try and get Talk to the Hand on one of the Orblings. But maybe we just cut through Fate for that. No, I want to cut through Fate when I have a draw pile. Okay. So now we cut through Fate to look for Talk of the Hand. Sure. Um, still don't have it, unless it's the top card. So I guess it's a one and three. Okay, so there it is. Um, seems like we can't play it now, though. I guess Fear No Evil Tantrum is energy positive. So we get up to three energy and then talk to the hand vigilance. Stealing a card, he's gonna get Ragnarok. Um, let's empty mine now, and then go into Wrath. Wait, is that stupid? I don't want to end my turn in Wrath. Uh, I guess there's actually two ways to exit, so it's probably fine. Now there's only one way to exit, but we're almost guaranteed to get it. It's six cards. I guess we're gonna add the seventh card, but... Uh, let's cut through fate, and if uh, if we can't guarantee that we'll be able to exit calm next turn, we'll exit calm now. Uh, we can guarantee it. We need more block this turn, so I think we're beating up that orb link for it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll take uh, Vigilance. I should have feared no evil, because I'm only blocking for one with this defend. Although I guess it's better than doing zero damage. Yikes. That's always scary. Uh, I think we're gonna fear no evil and then empty mine. Uh, doesn't seem lethal. Not quite. We don't have enough energy, I guess.
Mm, actually, I'll take the... No, wait. I don't need a status exit. Oh, I am in Wrath. Shoot. Maybe I do need a status exit. I guess we're probably just killing him next turn. Okay. Um, does anybody... Did anybody do the math? Do the research about whether you can vault and still get you or nothing? I assume the answer is no, but... Um... If the answer is yes, then we should probably take it. <laughs> I think this is probably a skip. Ragnarok is good. Yeah, I think Vault Trigger is a real new turn. Like if you if you blasphemy Vault, you die. You know, <laughs> like you, all the all the beginning of turn effects trigger. All of your turns that say things that say. When, the count turns tick up. Um. Hmm. None of these seem particularly useful for setting up infinites. I guess Philosopher's Stone gives us an extra energy for playing around with. Um. Pyramid's definitely good. It's useless for setting up turn one kills, though. Doesn't do anything. And turn one kills are all we care about. It's good in hallways. Um, I think I honestly would probably pick Tiny House over Pyramid here. <laughs> it's like one of the best ones versus one of the worst ones. And the worst one. Um, I guess it says obtain one card. I guess you can skip that card. It's just a card reward. Um... We just take Philosopher's Stone. I wish that Philosopher's Stone gave both you and enemies an additional strength. Yeah, it's funny how, like, you said there's a new turn banner, and I was like, I assume that there is, but I have no idea what it looks like, right? Because it's... I've just... Like, there's no chest here, there's no, like, choose a relic screen, there's no, like, green oozy stuff. It's just, like, these are the only pixels that matter, right? And, like, these ones sometimes. Um, these ones. That one. These ones. Um. It's not that the game's UI isn't nice, but it just doesn't matter, because I've played the game a thousand times. Um, sure. Philosopher Stone, right? Yeah, why not? Let's get some energy. Time Lord's gonna be tough to kill in one turn, so we're gonna have to get the second Act 3 boss, which means we have to kill Time Lord. Um, and if we're trying to save potions, we have to take carry the potions through the Time Lord fight. Maybe it's possible to get kill Time Lord in 12 cards with, like, Ragnarok and, and stuff, but I don't think it's happening. Um, we don't have to kill this guy because we're not going to Act 4. We don't care about that. Probably want to dodge shops. We don't have enough money. A late shop would be nice. So we're probably going there. Although that costs us this elite. Um, I kind of want to go to question marks. Like Mind Bloom and uh, Rare Relics. Um, we need to remove cards. That's like the primary thing. So maybe we do want shops. We want like an early shop and a late shop. And we want to remove cards at both. So we need to go to through one of these two. Can we ever afford to do both? Our current card removes cost 100. So if we want to remove two, it costs 225 total. We definitely don't have 225 now, but if we cruise through these, we'd gain like 45-ish gold. Yeah, I think it's probably not enough. So I guess I'd rather go to the second shop and do like this path. Hmm. It's a pretty good path. Get these, uh, these three elites, or these two elites, and then the late shop. Okay. Yeah, smiling mask. Honestly, I wish that this, that we were offered a empty cage. Empty cage would have been a really big deal. Uh, I didn't like this say. Uh, 
Being a four energy deck is a pretty huge relief. Ooh, fear another one. I assume we needed like a bunch of block here. I didn't really calculate it, but that's the max block turn, so I just did it. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like we needed every bit of it. Uh, we can tantrum to kill him. Tantrum to kill him and Ragnarok is like almost lethal. With the strike, it probably is lethal. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. Nope, these aren't it. Hmm, Spiker. I guess that was stupid, because I was killing him. Um, so we didn't need to, uh... Need to put a uh, talk to the hand on him. Do we take four damage to do eighteen? Yeah, I think we do. I don't think we're getting out of the spiker without taking some damage. Darn. Uh. Ouch. We're gonna take you to like 20 or like 22 here. I guess cut through fate, take the defend, and then tantrum. And we take uh, 17. Gross. Not yet. Card remove. Winding halls. It's making things cost zero ever help. I think that would probably cause us to die, losing 14 HP and going to 9. Hallway fight. And then the elite. Uh, so I'll just lose 4 max. Transient. Eruption Ragnarok seems like a great start. I guess I'll tantrum instead to keep it in the draw pile. Okay. Um, Omomori, he says, too late. Yeah, we could have healed. Good point. I never think about using Omomori in that event. If we tantrum, he loses 16 health, or 16 attack, and goes down to uh, 19. 19 gets doubled to 34. Um, wait, no, 38. Um, uh, and then we block for 18. Take 20 and go to 3. Probably an excuse to use a speed pot. Saving 10 health and going to a 13. Um, otherwise, we would double defend here, block for 18, and take 17. Slightly less. But then we don't have the tantrum in the drop pile, and we're not in Wrath. Uh, I think I'd rather be in Wrath. Oh, we also got the block from the block return, so this is way better. So we actually block out without it, without the speed pot. Cool. Uh, 
Um, I guess we tantrum, cut through fate to try and draw the tantrum. Or a stance exit, that would be nice too. I'll take a stance exit, sure. Um, fear no evil means we're in calm, so we get extra energy next turn, which we might need. Tantrum Ragnarok seems good. I'll hold the cut through fate because I don't want to draw a tantrum now. I'm going to draw a tantrum next turn. Uh, Eruption Tantrum Vigilance seems fine. I don't know if it's enough, though. I guess I'll have Miracle on the Fenton with 5 health. Um. Tantrum, draw the Tantrum. Play Fear No Evil. So that's good enough. Yep. Okay. Stance potion. It's nice. Um, seems like the deck could use a flurry, but it interferes with the infinites. Kinda. Actually, does it? Because we can. If the infinite is like fear no evil, empty mind, then like once we fear no evil, the flurry comes out of the discard. Um, it does. It pr has deck size problems though, and we already have deck size problems. Um, I mean, you can still do the infinite with a Flurry of Blows. It doesn't, like, you can play the Flurry of Blows as part of the infinite, too. But, uh, just dex, dex size is our main problem, so. You don't really need extra combo damage. I think we have to go to Shop to remove a card, even though it forces us. Oh my god, there's a Rush Down. So, Rush Down card remove. Rush Down makes it a lot easier to pull off. Um. So if we card remove a strike, then we've got 14 car 15 cards. Um, um, I think it, we, we might if, if we have more cards in the combo, like it doesn't necessarily have to be a sundial combo as long as the net energy cost is zero. And like vigilance costs net negative one, fear no evil costs net negative two. So we just hold like the four defense and the Ragnarok and play the other cards. So that gives us like a three energy budget. And we spend the budget the budget on empty mind and two of these. I think that's infinite. Um, Cause empty mind eruption tantrum only costs three. I guess we need enough card draw and that doesn't do that. Empty mind only draws two cards. So we do actually need another empty mind and like an upgrade on this one. Uh, but wait, wait, the, the Rush down is the card draw, right? So like these eruptions draw two, this empty mind draws two. So the combo is like vigilance, fear no evil, eruption, tantrum, empty mind. And that's five cards. It draws six. Um, and it's energy neutral, so I think we're there. Finally, um, with rush down card removal. Yeah, we need swift pots to guarantee it. Um, but that should be that should be the deck that, that does it. Alright, but can we survive? We have to survive Time Lord too. The Time Eater. I always call him Time Lord, but his name is Time Eater. That kills him. Uh, I'll Ragnarok and then if it doesn't kill him, I'll cut through fate. This is a miracle. Time Yeater. <laughs> what a jerk. Um, okay. Eruption kills one of them. That's nice. Probably playing Vigilance Empty Mind. Or Fear No Evil Empty Mind. Hey, Athos19. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the Vegetable Patch. 
Um, I want to play Toxic Hand and Tantrum on Reptomancer, but that doesn't kill this dagger, and then we take 10 extra damage. So it doesn't feel right. But I definitely can't waste Talk to the Hand on a dagger. I guess it doesn't kill the dagger, but it does block for 12. So then that's more damage than he's doing. Um, seems like there's a slight problem with us dying. Uh, she's hitting us for 34 by herself. This blocks for 13 with the speed pot. Um, 13 plus 22 leaves us at 1 if we kill the dagger. But I guess we block for 12 with the tantrum. So we're, we're surviving, but yikes. Um, okay, I think it's like this. Oh, shoot. Uh, I need to restart the fight so I can play that with the uh, speed pot, because this dies. Right? This dies. 34 plus 10. Uh, 44, yep, we're dead. Sorry about that. Made a mistake. Alright, we're trying to repeat everything so far. Got rid of the two defends, I believe. So we tantrum Dio. Ragnarok. And we didn't cut through fate because the dagger was dead. And then we eruption to the first one that actually dies. And then Freedom Wave all empty minded. Okay. And the bit we're trying to change is we just want to drink a speed boat. Okay. We actually get a little bit of extra health from the uh, Iron Thopper, too. Alright. Um, rush down Tantrum. Save me. We're in Wrath. This is Ragnarok. I suspect this is lethal. Or at least a lot of damage and also a lot of block. Yeah, that's lethal. Cool. Wing Boots, huh? Simmering Fury is not fast enough. Uh, we don't need Sanctity. We don't need to Evaluate. I guess I'll take the Wing Boots. Um, seems like resting now and here <laughs> helps my survival. Um, we need card removes. Does this question mark ever do it? It's tough to get a wing boots like midway through Act Three and still spend it efficiently. It's gonna be a hard thing to do. Um, but we're at eight, so I don't want to die to a question mark. Yep, falling would be nice. Mind bloom always good. Uh, but we could also just die, right? It's a fight. Events are good. But like, okay, so if we we go to this event, we go to this fire, we go to this chest, right? We've saved we've saved a all of our wing boost charges. It doesn't matter what we do, then we're fighting an elite. And then like we can be here or here without spending a wing boost charge, or we can fly over to this fire. And then we can like wing boots to this question mark, do this fire, and then wing boots to here. So we're only spending two of the charges. Um, or we can get fire, fire, and then go fight this elite, and then go do question, question. So we're doing the same thing either way. We're getting two question marks and two fires, and we're only spending two wing boots charges. But I think I want to I want to front load the fires. I want the fires now because I'm at eight. So I think I'll I'll do the two charges now. Yeah, we could do an event and get shivved. I think it would only take seven health from our current thing, but I wouldn't bet my life on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't even say Yeah, actually falling is guaranteed to get rush down, right? Because it's our only power. So it's, the other two would have to be good. Uh, I guess it, we could get rid of the cut through fader to defend is probably likely, but I'd be pretty happy with that. Okay. Got some health back. Ceramic fish on floor 43. Very helpful. Alright. Nemesis. We've got the boot. 
We've got him out teched. He'll never see it coming. Since we're not playing Ragnarok this turn. Um, Empty Mind's good next turn. I'll go just draw the Fear No Evil now. And have it be useless. It's a pretty bad uh, fight for us, actually, because of the burns. Uh, so we can't combo. Tantrum to draw cards. Cards are burns. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. Sitting us for 24 plus 4 is 28. Walking for 12, we need to find some more. Uh, fear No Evil blocks for 3, defend blocks for 5. It's a double defend, Fear No Evil. Seems okay. So this tantrum shuffles, but doesn't get us energy. Oh wait, it doesn't shuffle, because it puts itself in and then draws itself. Okay. I think we might be able to kill him with a uh, kill him through his intangible here. Oh man, how did he how did he defend that with his burns? I did not think he was going to be able to pull that off. We unfortunately messed up our sundial uh, setup for next fight too. Sick. Art of War, totally useless. Nope, none of these. All right, um, so we could use the last wing boots charge to get over to that fire, but I think the plan is to not do that. Uh, we have double Omomori, um, so we could just heal the full. Taking a boss relic is nice for a rare relic. Did we did we ever figure out if Mind Bloom? Somebody said it was patched out. You used to be able to combo this fight, but now you can't. I, I kind of want to do the research <laughs> because this is a deck that can go infinite. So I kind of want to take every boss fight I can find just in case. Uh, upgrading all cards. That's true. It can be peace pipe. Yeah, so I, th I believe the way the achievement works now is that you this does not count as the achievement. Um, although it's not clear why. Like, Act 1 bosses have not quite as much health as Act 3 bosses, but, like, nearly. Um, um, upgrading all cards for healing. Hits Empty Mind and Rush Down. Those are significant. Ragnarok. Uh, we're going for the You Are Nothing achievement, which is why the title of the stream is Chat Is Nothing. Um, and so even if we win Act 3, which is normally the, the threshold for winning a game of Slay the Spire, uh, it doesn't count as a win unless we get the You Are Nothing achievement, which is why we're we're going so hard for this, uh, this combo. Um, if it is a Peace Pipe, we still only get two procs out of it. I Two procs is, is really good, though. Um, okay, all right. Let's let's get a rare relic. Maybe it's beast type. It, it, there's no other way to remove cards, right? There's no, you can't get like empty cage. I kind of wish there was like an uncommon version of empty cage that lets you remove one card. Upgrading all cards is nice too. Not being able to heal is kind of a disaster, but. Slime boss. Let's see if we can kill him on turn one. This is practice run. Uh, Fear no evil doesn't work. Do we, it seems like we don't want a Ragnarok either. Hey, burn face. Uh, chat is nothing. Is just it's the you are nothing challenge. So we have to get you are nothing or we lose. Um, 
and we're doing that on Ascension 20, so it's really hard. Um, I personally do not have the You Are Nothing achievement, so if I get it, it'll be my last achievement. That would be nice. Alright, there's the rush down. Uh, we don't have any other card draw, so we're not getting it. Uh, I believe it doesn't work if you, if you have vaults, but I don't know. That's the answer. If you make it to the heart, it's a win, right? Technically. Uh, we can double tantrum this turn, which is just fun. Okay. All right, unceasing top. Hmm, interesting. Probably not useful. Uh, nope, these aren't it. I guess crescendo exhausts. Crescendo exhausts and procs. Um, uh, procs rush down. Could exit calm. Um. Hmm. How many uh, call mentors do we have? We've got vigilance and fear no evil. That's it. Yeah, we've already got two wrath hunters, and tantrum's already a handful. Okay. I guess we do this fire and then this shop. That's the last wing booster. Nope, we're not quite ready. Right? Yeah, we're, we're only getting good stuff from now until the boss. We just get a bonus fire and a bonus shop, so... No, thank you. Uh... Will we get an upgrade rush down? I mean, this deck can theoretically do it, right? So, I think I'm focused on, on optimizing the likeliness of getting there. Uh, and I, I think a shop does a pretty decent job of that. We are somewhat energy constrained, uh, at least on setting up the cycle. So I think Empty Mind or Rushdown gets it. Um, yeah, we can do it. Uh, it's kind of a complicated combo. Uh, we hold the four defense and the Ragnarok and the, both the cut through fates. So we're holding these seven. And then we play. Um, Rushdown's in play, and we play uh, Eruption, Vigilance, Tantrum, Free No Evil, um, uh, and Empty Mind, these five. Uh, they net draw um, six cards, and they uh, net cost zero energy. Uh, no, Empty Mind does not go to zero. Empty Mind draws an extra card if you upgrade it. I think we want Rushdown just to uh, make setting up maybe possible in, in situations where it isn't currently. Um, if we go to a shop, we're taking a card remove, but we can't afford that. It costs 120. So I guess we go to a question mark and hope for falling. Get rid of a defend. Yes, it's very difficult, uh, but it is possible. It's not possible against Time Lord, importantly. Um... Um, is it not guaranteed? I don't know. I don't think we can fail. I think if, we're, if we do it carefully, it, I don't think it can fail. It's obviously not guaranteed on turn one. Um, so the upside of the shop is what? Um, shop for potions? That seems pretty sensible. Um, swift pot? Yep, swift pot would be huge. Yeah, the color of the spot is non helpful. The stance change pot might be helpful. Um, yeah, it's either shop or question mark for falling. What could also happen at question marks? Question mark could be um, question mark could be the rare relic thing with the two orb walkers, and we get peace pipe, and then we remove a card at the fire. 
Um, so there's sort of two outs for the question mark, although that's one of the outs is, is really, really low chance. Uh, colorless Pot can be draw, but I'm really afraid of, of relying on Colorless Pot being draw as part of the combo. Um, yeah, yep, Stance Pot for, for Wrath is definitely part of the plan. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I guess the shop is a better, better chance than the question mark, probably. Ooh, membership card. Uh, so we can't buy any cards that we would want to buy. If, I guess Finesse's card draw. Um, no, that seems minorly harmful. Um, yeah, colorless spots the same as colorless spots. So this shop's kind of useless. We're either buying Finesse or Skipping. Uh, and I think Skipping is probably the answer. I don't think finesse hurts the combo, but it doesn't help either. No, we can't afford to remove. Cost 125. Wish it could. Would be nice. Okay. Is there any situation where we would otherwise combo and we and we don't combo because of finesse? Is finesse actually harmful, or is finesse only helpful? I guess finesse is just a bad card against Time Lord. And maybe that's enough to not choose it. We are going to have a bit of a rough time against Time Lord. Yeah, I think it's. I think that's a good enough reason. I think we're resting here just to make sure we win the Time Lord fight. Upgrading Empty Mind is nice too. Um, but we have to win the Time Lord fight ideally without spending either potion. That's a pretty big ask. Um, and honestly, is is upgraded empty mind ever really like making us combo when we wouldn't otherwise? I'm not sure. Maybe it is. We do have to draw like many cards. Um, but like if we get rush down and like tantrum, then like we're probably getting there. I guess rush down the eruption is better because tantrum redraws itself a bunch. Um, yeah, we do have to hold eight cards, and we have to, like, draw those eight cards, right? Like, that's the big, the challenging part of the combo, is the setup. Also, the execution is difficult. Um, maybe we can draw exactly wrong. Yeah, if we draw, like... Yeah, you, actually, it is it is a little bit fragile, because if we draw Vigilance and Fear No Evil in a row, then the combo stops. Because we, we're holding ten cards. We have no way to draw. So that's a little scary. I guess we have the stance spot for that, but... Alright, let's rest so that we survive the Time Lord and give ourselves a chance. We're probably winning Time Lord as it is. Hmm. Yeah, Master Strategy would be great. Um, I don't know if Madness is enough. Maybe it is. Um, secret Technique... Could work. Yeah, let's go ahead and smith up the, the Empty Mind. I think we're probably winning Time Lord. Maybe. Nothing is guaranteed in this life. Um, talk to the Hand Ragnarok seems a good way to block initially. Vigilance Empty Mind is card draw neutral and draws a bunch of cards. I think we just leave this alone. I think this is just a good starting hand. Maybe we mulligan the Rushdown. Is Rushdown good against Time Eater? Um, so Ragnarok's going to block for 5 times 3. So it's 15 plus the 8 is 23. Uh, he's hitting for 27. Yeah, I think I, I like playing the Rushdown too. Let's keep holding. Uh, Vigilance up be mine first to see what's up. Um, I don't think we want to enter Wrath, so just talk to the hand, Ragnarok. And rush down for fun. Ouch. 
Um, hmm. Cut through fate, shuffle. Hope to get empty mind. Or vigilance or something. Hey, uh, Sarbandia. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the vegetable patch. Um, yeah. Let's see what this does. Other than blocking for three. Uh, kept your fate, coin vigilance? Or I guess we don't need the miracle. Oh, wait. Miracle Ragnarok blocks for more than defense. Blocks for 15. I guess it blocks for the same amount as defense. Okay. Puts us at 9 on the clock. Yeah, I mean, playing Miracle Triple Defend puts us at 11 on the clock, so that one's way worse. Got three cards. Uh, how about like Tantrum Defend Empty Mind? Or Tantrum uh, Vigilance Empty Mind? Tantrum Vigilance Defend? Yeah, Tantrum Vigilance Defend. Tantrum, Tantrum, Vigilance was better, that's a good point. Yep, blocked for four more. Uh, okay. Yeesh, Time Lord, come on. Uh, let's Tantrum and see if we can re redraw the Tantrum. Cut through fate probably does. Uh, looks like we're capable of splitting him this turn if we want. We could cut through fate and tantrum again. So Tantrum is doing 32, right? 16, yeah, 32. Um, 32 plus 16 is 48. 72 minus 48 is um, less than 240. Okay. Should we go for clock? Yeah, otherwise we're leaving him on eight. Hmm. We can just clock next turn though when he's um when he's healing. I don't think we ever kill him from from here, right? Before he heals. It's, maybe it's possible. So if we wanted to, we'd like Fear No Evil, Tantrum, Tantrum. Uh, wait, no, because then we're in Wrath and he kills us. Actually, does he kill us? We block for a lot. Not 60, though. Um, I guess we can just... No, because we, we can't draw unless we fear no evil now. And then we, if we fear no evil now, we can't exit. Okay, so we've split him and we're blocked out. And nine is okay. I kind of want Tantrum to be in the draw pile, so I think I'm just going to Tantrum Slime Defend to the clock. Uh, I don't 
don't think cut through fate rag is enough. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Thanks for figuring that out, Quarks. That's funny. I guess Vigilance Slime is better than Fear Noodle Slime. Alright, he's blocking, which means we need to go. Uh, he's got a lot of armor, though. Thank you. Uh, Ragnarok does a lot of damage. mind for next turn. Looks like we're setting up pretty well. Should be able to get there. And we're also setting up Sundial if we don't shuffle again. Obviously we're shuffling next turn. Uh, do we ever play a Slime? I think we're planning on killing him next turn. Yeah, that number's too high. We're not getting there. Uh, Vigilance Empty Mind is energy neutral. Um, we didn't quite get there on the Mantra either. Mantra almost got there. Uh, I guess we have too many, like, tantrums and stuff for Mantra to be good. Yeah, if we pot, we're gonna lose. We can't... I don't think... I think we need the pot for the next fight, but... Um... I guess it's better than dying right now. Being frail is a bummer here. Alright, let's fidge on side of mind see what we can find. Yeah, tantrum Ragnarok's not enough. So now we can't even tantrum because we can't exit. Um, and we can't block either. Starting to get pretty boxed in. Um, so we're going to need to do something. Maybe stance pot to exit. Stance pot's probably the most valuable one. Um, so using a stance pot just to get into calm seems bad. But also, I don't think that's blocking for us, right? Like. I guess we can stance pot to wrath and then use you know able to exit and tantrum gets extra damage uh, we need to do a hundred and sixty four damage um, we're weak but we have a strength so this let's see this natively does six damage so um, Double that is 12. Weak on 12 is 8. Or no, it's um, it's 9. So it does 9 times 5. That's only 45. It's not not even remotely close. Uh, I don't think we can block either, though. So we need the colorless spot to do something magical. Uh, is Madness magic enough? Madness on Ragnarok is pretty good. Uh, the three random skills could be good enough. And we can draw them. Or we can maybe draw one of them. Yeah, I think we need Chrysalis to save us. There we go. Spirit Shield Omniscience. Uh, I guess that could work. We only drew slimes. Okay, so our only way of drawing cards now is to Calm Pot and then Tantrum. Um, which is disastrous. Obviously. Wow. Time Lord. Infinite combo decks. Not a good mix. 
That's too bad. Yeah, it was gonna be a struggle, even if it was um, even if it was Donu Deca, who I think is probably the easiest one to infinite combo, um, since you only have to kill one of them. Um, even if it was like Donu Deca or Awakened One, um, I don't think we were probably getting there. Um, yeah, we needed to get rid of quite a few more cards. Um, it's kind of silly that we got Unceasing Top as our last relic. If we'd gotten Unceasing Top way earlier, we would have had a much different plan. Uh, there's a couple of cards that we added to the deck that we probably shouldn't have, like the Ragnarok. Um, but, like, would we have really gotten to the Act 3 boss if we didn't add Ragnarok? I don't know. Um, it's so tough to pull this this combo off. Um, going for an infinite combo is just, like, rarely the correct strategy for playing Ascension 20. And Ascension 20 is, like, hard enough on its own. But we did, like, almost get there. Um, this deck could have done it. it. It was, like, within the realm of possibility. Maybe should have rested before the Time Lord. Um... Yeah, we did get it. We did get a rush down. Um, so like rush down tantrum was, was online. We were almost there, um, but not quite. <laughs>